program active committee member for organizing student oriented programs under tq active member of nba committee and area of research includes extraction of anthocyanin from grape extraction of polyphenols from the pomes development of functional and nutraceutical foods preparation of malt based beverage so today we have sir with us and he will be guiding us regarding food plant design and layout welcome sir okay. thank you thank you am i audible am i audible yes sir yes sir yes sir डिजाइनिंग ऑफ फूड प्लान एंड ले आउट्स सो फूड प्लान डिजाइन एंड ले आउट सो फूड प्लान डिजाइन इज द डिजाइन ट्री ऑफ द इंटायर फैसिलिटी इन इंडस्ट्री एज वेल एज प्रिमाइस ऑफ इंडस्ट्री इंक्लूडिंग द food processing building design uh, utilities place, placement of the process machineries and a different storage room storage room for raw materials storage room, room for uh, finished product then uh, other allocations like uh, office administrative building then uh, effluent treatment plants inside roads lab uh, lab laboratory all our facilities included uh, in the plant so process design is focused around the design of the processes itself including the different the flow chart means process flow flow charts uh, raw material to final product uh, sizing of the process equipment and uh, design of equipments uh, so basically for food processing industry point of view uh, equipment design uh, depend upon the which type of uh, product uh, we have prepared uh, in a plant okay so then uh, design of piping uh, then other uh, energy uh, input requirements means uh, requirement of steam Uh, requirement of hot water all are these uh, required material uh, requirements are uh, included in a designing of plant and plant layout so optimum aim for a designing of plant layout to optimum arrangement of uh, different facilities including uh, uh, human resource then uh, Uh, different equipment and machineries, uh, materials. So layout once implemented uh, cannot be easily changed. So this process is a one-time one-time process. Okay. So once the develop or design the plan, so then uh, we cannot change easily or uh, cannot modify it because. Uh, change the plant layout change the plant design directly related to the cost of the product okay so so poor plant design uh, for food industry uh, the result uh, uh, in continuous losses uh, so that's why these are the very important uh, before start uh, the new plant uh, you have know the uh, basic idea for designing of the plant layout okay so plant layout so plant layouts uh, refers to the overall overall uh, design of manufacturing facilities so in this uh, process several stages uh before it is uh, completed uh, so in this uh, process uh, identification then uh, selection of the product uh, uh, to be manufactured uh, then uh, analysis uh, design of economic valuation then uh, preparation of design report then uh, uh, material uh, purchasement 
or procurement of uh, machineries materials so including plant and machinery construction then after then uh, installation of machinery then uh, commissioning of these uh, machineries all point uh, in uh, designing of plant layout so the design should consider the technical and economical factors various unit operation involved uh, then existing and potential market condition also uh, responsible for uh, designing uh, or included in a uh, designing of plant layout so definition So overall objective of plant layout is to design physical arrangement that most economically meets the required output, quantity and quality. Or another one as per according uh, JLD, the plant layout ideally involve the allocation of space, arrangement of equipment in a such a manner that overall operating cost are minimized. So, as per design process, minimum uh, space uh, occupied by uh, equipment or uh, other uh, process means storage, uh, storage room for raw material, final product, uh, then uh, utility section. Okay. So, maximum space uh, occupied, then So the plant design specification, so the equipment to be used, so plan, uh, food plant design. So plant design involves uh, detailed engineering and construction of process equipment, utilities, buildings, storage facility and wastewater treatment. Okay. So, so these uh, equipment, uh, storage facility and effluent treatment totally depend upon which type of product you have uh, prepared in uh, plant, uh, maybe solid type product, liquid type product, uh, for example, suppose uh, beverages industry, that time more requirement of uh, water so, and uh, suppose one solid, uh, for example, biscuit uh, manufacturing unit or other uh, units. Uh, so that time, uh, uh, solid waste material. So depend upon the uh, which product you uh, you uh, we have plant on the basis of our product uh, change the equipment uh, and uh, machineries and other facilities and design of the plant. So plant design specification. So equipments uh, uh, equipments then. Uh, uh, equipment's performance, then uh, raw material flows. Raw material flow means uh, uh, required raw material in a uh, unripe condition, ripe condition, or after the uh, uh, any uh, pretreatment for raw materials. Okay, then uh, uh, designing of processing area. So uh, equipment allocation, equipment design. Then uh, other facilities, uh, those are required uh, in uh, processing areas. So online uh, uh, processing, uh, online analysis lab required. Uh, okay. So these are uh, facilities uh, required uh, at the time of uh, designing. And uh, uh, another requirements, uh, the control panels. Uh, for uh, processing and monitoring uh, of uh, overall uh, process uh, means the temperature measurement, pressure measurement, then uh, uh, wastewater uh, requirements, then uh, different connections, pipe connections, then uh, hot water, uh, uh, suppose uh, hot water requirement, then connection of uh, hot water supply pipes, then uh, connection of uh, uh, steams, then 
okay so these are the required specification uh, in uh, our mind at the time of uh, basically design of uh, plant then uh, some uh, conditions or uh, situation uh, of uh, plant design so our plant totally new our uh, uh, old plant convert into a new plant okay so design uh, of completely new plants or uh, uh, design of uh, or conversion of old plant in a new way so design of addition of the existing plant uh, the faci facility or plant operation and uh, subsequent expansion restrictly by a uh, poor site thereby necessitating the setting of the plant in new way or new site okay the that time addition of uh, some uh, new product or maybe sometime uh, change the product suppose old product uh, uh, design only for one one product uh, or one process a newly uh, plant old plant uh, plant convert into new product uh, that time multiple processes okay more than one two or three product prepared in same plan so uh, at that time uh, in our mind uh, all points are required for uh, all products okay for example dairy industry point of view in one plant uh, multiple uh, product uh, developed uh, so that time uh, design on the basis of uh, uh, multiple production point of view a uh, new way or new plan then a uh, modernization automation of the existing facility or many time uh, uh, already we know the uh, new technology uh, day by day available in uh, market so adopt such type of technology so uh, minimization of the uh, uh, manpower and modernization or uh, increase the automation because more automation that time the Uh, less chances of uh, losses okay then uh, expansion of the plant capacity for example uh, old plant capacity is 5 ton per hour so old plant convert into 10 ton or 20 ton per hour capacity that time some modification and uh, uh, some changes in uh, old plant so on the basis of condition a totally new plant or old plant convert into uh, new plant okay then uh, food processing uh, and non food processing plant what is the exact uh, difference between food processing and non food processing plant uh, the storage uh, life of food is uh, relatively limited and uh, strongly affected by temperature then uh, Uh, maturity of raw material and water activity the ph then uh, initial uh, microbial contamination and then uh, structure of the product uh, type of the product uh, type of raw materials so in a other plant uh, for example atom uh, automobile industry the so not uh, requirement of storage life of uh, uh, product so these are the major difference between uh, food industry and non food processing industry then another way food product safety uh, very high and uh, variable levels of product safety and uh, sterility how to be provided for uh, uh, you know food processed product uh, such type of uh, not necessary in uh, other uh, non food processing plants then uh, food is highly perishable that's why the uh, the processing as well as storage and transportation uh, facility required in a good way or good manner but uh, other uh, uh, non food processing industry so depend upon the which type of uh, materials then uh, uh, fermentation so uh, fermentation are Uh, fermentations are used uh, in uh, producing various foods and uh, biochemical so successful processing require the use of conditions uh, 
the which ensure the dominance of desired strains of microorganism and then uh, uh, different ways uh, to growth of microorganism uh, in a food product uh, so precaution uh, or prevention from microorganism is uh, required uh, uh, but uh, non food processing uh, uh, plants no need to or uh, suppose automobile so that time uh, uh, not need to precaution from uh, uh, microorganism uh, okay then in time ca catalyzer process so uh, microbial growth and uh, fermentation are very sensitive to uh, temperature then uh, ph and then water activity and uh, some other uh, environmental uh, conditions maybe some chances uh, uh, the product uh, direct contact to with uh, environment uh, that time uh, e uh, immediately start the uh, biochemical changes so enzyme catalyst is uh, uh, process in uh, food processing industry so then uh, microorganism living uh, microorganism many foods uh, for example uh, dairy products uh, curd yogurts uh, may uh, are uh, living microorganism and they are uh, biochemically active along after uh, uh, after the processing or uh, any other uh, product uh, fruits and vegetable and uh, slaughtering so the live organism uh, organism present in food material okay then uh, crop based uh, food raw materials uh, the plant for a plant design may involve the modeling of uh, crop viability so these are the some points uh, uh, in uh, food processing and non food processing plants okay then uh, general design consider consideration uh, for uh, uh, plant design so food processing unit operations so different unit operations in a uh, food processing industries uh, sterilization washing drying popping uh, pumping then uh, uh, peeling blanching washing grading so many unit operations uh, in a uh, 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 food industry but uh, uh, these unit operation on the basis of uh, product category product type for example fruits and vegetable processing industry point of view so ripening then uh, uh, grading sorting washing then peeling uh, blanching or uh, processing okay then heating so these are the unit operation uh, in a fruits and vegetable processing industry so as per our product point of, point of view or which product we have selected for uh, preparation uh, on the basis of uh, product category design the plan then uh, prevention of contamination so prevention of contamination will involve the uh, provision or use of uh, filtered air uh, then uh, piping layouts that ensure complete uh, drainages then uh, present cause uh, stream contamination then uh, contamination of uh, uh, finished product by uh, unsterilized uh, or Upsterilize of the raw materials. Okay, then uh, uh, solid materials. So these are the uh, uh, factors responsible for uh, uh, prevention of contamination of the uh, product. So uh, different uh, ways uh, conveyors than another uh, equipment. then uh, uh, deterioration so deterioration uh, to minimize uh, the product and uh, raw material deterioration the provision should be made for a refrigerated and uh, controlled environment uh, then storage areas required a space and uh, uh, facility available in industry 
फैसिलिटी अवेलेबल फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ प्रिपेयर्ड प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोडक्ट अंडर विच कैटेगरी पेरिशेबल फूड मटेरियल और नॉन पेरिशेबल फूड मटेरियल कैटेगरी ओके देन सीजनल प्रोडक्शन सो मेनी फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल अवेलेबल ओनली टू टू थ्री मंथ्स so food plants uh, you have to be sized uh, or uh, commodated uh, peak season flows uh, for example uh, some mango processing point so mango processing so availability of mango, mango only 3 uh, to 4 months so uh, minimum time and uh, maximum production and mango also uh, perishable type of fruits so uh, After ripening of mango, immediately uh, uh, required processing. Suppose delay the processing, that time the over ripening and maybe chances of spoilage of uh, mango. Okay. So these are the some design uh, uh, consideration. So for uh, plant design, then uh, food plant uh, design process. so in this process how to design or how to uh, prepare the project report uh, for uh, a new product the first is the project idea so project idea so generally uh, on the basis of surrounding and which type of product in your mind uh, for uh, preparation maybe uh, fruit related product uh, vegetable related product uh, serial play serial based product so any uh, product so in your mind this is the your project idea after then uh, project idea so facility study so these are the some points uh, in a facility study technical uh, analysis technical an technical analysis means uh, for preparation of the product uh, required uh, machinery technically is uh, suitable means Uh, which technology apply for uh, development of product uh, then market uh, market for such product uh, the city level market required uh, overall market required for uh, product uh, and economic condition so economic condition means uh, what is the exact profit from uh, uh, product uh, okay means uh, input is equal to output okay so uh, material balance uh, in required uh, in calculation of economics then financial financial requirement means your own finance uh, or uh, from uh, uh, any other uh, uh, finance uh, uh, from bank or other uh, or any other financial uh, supporter to condition and then social or social condition so first we uh, thoroughly discuss on this point uh, facility studies technical uh, study market study economical financial and social so then uh, if possible or all these point in positive way that uh, decide the engineering design and plant design if uh, not possible then uh, stop the project idea and uh, change the product okay in uh, engineering design or plant design the plant location uh, plant size or capacity then product design and uh, uh, product specification then uh, uh, process selection and process design uh, equipment selection and equipment design market design and analysis equipment and plant layout piping and instrumentation design utility and services plant building and surrounding cost and benefit analysis okay so these are the all point after the uh, finalization of your product so in your mind uh, suppose prepared the suppose biscuit manufacture plant and all these uh, facility study is a, a positive point in positive manner so technical ma market economic and financial and social so all point in uh, positive 
सो दैट टाइम यू हैव डिसाइड द गो हेड एंड स्टडी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन एंड प्लान डिजाइन ओके सो अगेन ऑल पॉइंट गुड वे देन फाइनल इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन सो ऑल दिस आफ्टर द स्टडी ऑफ ऑल दिस पॉइंट प्रिपेयर द प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट ओके देन प्रोजेक्ट रिपेयर देन कैपिटल दो बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल एंड इक्विपमेंट ओके देन इंस्टॉलेशन एंड कमिशनिंग एंड स्टार्टअप यूनिट इन प्रोडक्शन ऑपरेशन एंड देन मार्केटिंग so these are the all uh, point so this is the one uh, process for designing uh, or this this is the procedure for plant design okay then uh, product ideas how to uh, select the uh, product ideas so present market so you have to find uh, one product so for example suppose uh, you have prepared the uh, biscuits hmm? so present present market for biscuits okay and uh, in present market uh, which brands available in uh, markets you know, what is the exact difference between the market product and our products why customer or uh, people uh, purchase our product okay so these are the very important factor uh, any newness in uh, our product any quality point of view uh, nutritional uh, point of view our product is uh, better or uh, good uh, than a uh, present market product so present market of uh, such products okay then uh, market growth potential so ma- market growth pro- potential means uh, last uh, uh, two or one year uh, data so for example uh, you, uh, from pune city so requirement of pune city per day of uh, uh, product for example suppose again we uh, take the example of biscuits so requirement of biscuit per day in uh, pune so on the basis of last uh, six month or one year data so suppose increase the uh, day by day requirement from people so this is a good sign for our uh, new newly product then uh, cost so cost of uh, production factors and uh, distribution must be permit and acceptable profit when a uh, product is priced competitively so the competitive rating process uh, should consider a factor so cost is another uh, uh, important factor uh, the present market product cost and uh, our newly uh, designed or newly uh, prepared product cost okay Uh, any different or uh, any uh, uh, changes uh, in uh, cost uh, so cost of raw material input okay uh, then uh, another way to cost uh, in the point of view the processing of the product means uh, raw material cost uh, then uh, processing cost uh, sorry uh, required uh, uh, manpower cost uh, again uh, Uh, skilled man's power on skilled man power then uh, uh, final product price uh, selling and distribution cost then uh, efficiency of production process and then uh, uh, another some uh, uh, government r- related processes means uh, uh, license uh, then uh, uh, patents so so many uh, process and required cost for all these uh process okay then uh, another one point is the risk so in every business uh, so major concern is the risk so obviously it is a uh, impossible to look into the future uh, with uh, certainty 
and the willingness to assume the risk is the major characteristics uh, that said the entrepreneur so however the necessary unnecessary risk is uh, uh, pulled land while it may be difficult or uh, impossible to predict the future okay so uh, some factors related to risk uh, so market stability and uh, economic cycle means economic cycle means uh, uh, farmer uh, to industry industry to again market and market to farmer these are the cycle so economic cycle then uh, technology risk suppose we uh, uh, apply one techniques and these uh, technique is suitable for uh, product pain uh, process okay then uh, competitions so these are the very important point uh, competitions uh, uh, already we know the various type of products already available in market and uh, such type of product we prepared uh, so that time uh, our competitors product on our products okay so for example again we take the biscuit so already so many uh, brands uh, available in market then again we prepared the biscuits so uh, competitors uh, follow our value in market and our product value and uh, volume in markets so this is the one type of risk then uh, uh, size and power of competitors so uh, competitors size uh, and power and uh, our products uh, market uh, value and market uh, price so this is the uh, again uh, uh, compare between the our products uh, and uh, uh, already available in market products uh, competition then uh, quality and uh, uh, reliability risk uh, quality point of view uh, suppose uh, 10 to 15 product already available in market and such products quality in our product quality so any changes why people purchase our products so we good quality uh, of our products comparatively already those product available in market then uh, initial investment cost uh, this is a uh, initial investment cost we fixed the cost and uh, variable cost so then uh, 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 any other regulation and controls then uh, time uh, required to uh, show uh, profit okay so these are the some points uh, in a uh, uh, risk then uh, pre selection or uh, pre facility uh, stages okay the first is the uh, product description so product characteristic on product point of view so uh, any uh, changes in a product newness of these products or totally new, new product available in market so product characteristic uh, should be briefly described and along with possible uh, uh, substitute which uh, exist in the uh, marketplace okay then uh, description of market so uh, the present and uh, projected potential market and the uh, competitive nature of the market uh, so some questionnaire in our mind so where is the product now manufactured okay so for example biscuits uh, how many biscuits plants in uh, maharashtra then uh, the capacity of such type of plants okay then uh, how many plants exist and how specialized are in a uh, biscuit manufacturing so Ten uh, no, at present, ten uh, numbers or fifteen numbers or twenty numbers of uh, plants uh, 
uh, uh, preparation of the uh, biscuits and uh, how many plants specialize in uh, uh, biscuit manufacturing then uh, uh, what are the national production import and exports so also uh, these are the question in our minds that are there government contracts or some uh, uh, incentives from uh, governments suppose we develop the new plant so any incentive uh, from government or any incentive from uh, any uh, other bodies uh, NGO type bodies uh, or any support from uh, state government uh, as well as uh, central governments okay so uh, what is the estimated product uh, uh, long life or a uh, future consumption what about mean uh, distribution market means uh, exact uh, shelf life of our product so three months six months uh, one year uh, two year so long life of the product then uh, uh, in a uh, price structure so price structure of the product what is the exact price of product means uh, required cost for preparation of the products uh, means raw material purchasing and processing raw material purchasing transportation and processing cost and uh, uh, selling cost how to uh, match the uh, material balance okay so this point related to the description of market then uh, outline of technological variants so the technology uh, choice uh, that exists for the manufacturing of the product uh, uh, should be described uh, briefly so the uh, technology which technology we have apply for preparation of these products so any new techniques uh, day by day new techniques available in markets and uh, re reduce the cost of the product so new technology apply and develop the new product uh, that time immediately uh, reduction in cost okay so which technology uh, we have apply for uh, preparation of development of such type of products then availability of uh, main production factors main production factors means availability of raw material so food industry point of view uh, more than 50 percent product related to uh, raw materials availability of raw materials okay then uh, uh, water availability of water availability of uh, power fuel then uh, availability of uh, labor so skilled labor unskilled labor these are the another important factor then uh, cost estimation estimation uh, estimate should be made of the necessary investment cost and uh, cost of operations then uh, estimate of profit so uh, calculation of uh, balance sheet or material balance sheet uh, we know the idea about the exact uh, uh, profit uh, from uh, such product uh, okay then some other uh, uh, factors so uh, product uh, means uh, so educational industry then uh, some local issues so these are the uh, some points related to the uh, pre feasibility stages or uh, uh, pre selection stages then uh, market analysis so is a very important factor uh, market study or, and uh, market analysis so, so size and volume of the market so exact uh, size of the market for such products so nowadays uh, uh, so many products available in uh, yuri shop but some product available in uh, only uh, particular shop or particular uh, city uh, particular villages so size of the product and volume of uh, market okay means requirement availability and uh, needness for example suppose uh, uh, suppose pune city 
the requirement of uh, milk and availability of milk so this is the uh, size and volume of the market then uh, pattern of demand pattern of demand means uh, uh, our product uh, in which category so uh, daily consumable or exceptionally consumable category for example suppose uh, uh, milk uh, tea so such type of products is daily consumption but uh, uh, other products jam so jelly then uh, uh, frozen products so, so this is exceptional uh, requirement so in which category our product in which category pattern of demand daily requirement or weekly requirement or uh, functional requirement category then a uh, market uh, structure for products okay uh, market structure means uh, our uh, targeted uh, peoples means uh, uh, our product for uh, high profile uh, people middle man or uh, poor people product purpose so this is the market structure then uh, buying habits activate of buyers so buying habits to so depend upon the uh, people's and uh, culture or uh, backgrounds of uh, people's the buying habits and how to motivate to uh, uh, people or buy our products okay any techniques uh, okay so uh, people uh, suppose new product uh, that time uh, uh, freely uh, circulated uh, freely provided uh, uh, product for testing so in uh, different techniques uh, for uh, motivation purpose then uh, past and future trends past and future trends uh, for products uh, for example uh, drinking water bottle so uh, before uh, 10 year back so only few persons uh, purchase the drinking water bottle but nowadays uh, most of people uh, purchase such type of uh, drinking water bottle so past of the such type of product and future trends of products upcoming uh, 10 years uh, what the exact condition or situation uh, for uh, products or exact market after 10 year or product then uh, price which will uh, ensure acceptance in the market uh, product uh, market price and uh, most efficient is the distribution channel which distribution channel uh, we have applied for uh, distribution of our product uh, uh, wholesaler retailer our uh, our by uh, companies own shop so which techniques uh, we have applied for uh, distribution of uh, product then a company strong point in marketing so any uh, other product uh, prepared by companies in the last 10 years or last 20 years okay so why people trust on uh, our products uh, so this is the uh, related to the brand okay then uh, break even analysis so this is the techniques uh, break even analysis means uh, profit so so break even means the determine the uh, how much levels uh, how much sales uh, volume your business needs to uh, start making a profit okay so uh, level of sales volume uh, sales of uh, value or uh, production at which the business uh, makes uh, neither a profit or a no, nor loss means no profit no loss uh, structure so this is the break even analysis is a technique so widely used for uh, production management and management uh, accountants okay so in this uh, diagram uh, the line oa uh, represent the variation of income at varying levels of pro production activity and uh, ob uh, represents the total fixed cost in the business 
as a uh, output increases uh, variable cost are incurred uh, meaning that the total cost means total cost is equal to the fixed cost time variable cost so fixed cost uh, uh, are those business cost uh, that are not uh, directly related to the level of production and output so even the uh, business has a zero output or a high output the level fixed cost will remain broadly the same and uh, variable cost so variable cost means the uh, day by day requirements cost means the raw material cost uh, then uh, labor cost uh, uh, required fuel energy cost uh, okay means uh, this cost is the uh, variable cost so total cost is equal to the variable cost time uh, fixed cost then uh, important is the selection of the plant location so the location which is a consideration of uh, all factors uh, affecting product delivered uh, to customers cost a product uh, to be manufactured will offer the enterprise uh, greatest advantages obtained by location so these are the factors related to the uh, uh, plant location so law and order of situation availability of infrastructure facility then good industrial relations then availability of skilled workforce social infrastructure then uh, investor uh, friendly attitude then uh, nearness to market uh, nearness to nearness to sources of raw materials then supporting industries and services uh, must meet uh, safety requirement so these are the point uh, in a uh, uh, plant location other than this plant other some points uh, in the plant location is the uh, market okay then uh, uh, raw materials so availability of raw materials for example uh, uh, so mango processing point of view in uh, india uh, the in andhra pradesh chittur district is a uh, uh, famous for the cultivation of the mango and more than 100 processing units in one district hmm? chittur district in andhra pradesh so uh, location on the basis of availability of raw materials then uh, requirement of powers so in village levels uh, labor cost is uh, very less but on availability of power uh, out of 24 uh, hours only uh, 10 15 or uh, 20 hours so these are the another one issue then uh, transportation cost okay uh, transportation cost uh, uh, is also important the uh, uh, transportation two type of uh, types of transportation one is the after harvesting to industry and second is the industry to market so required cost for transportation okay then uh, uh, climate and fuel so one another important issue climate and fuel so that's why uh, in our kokan region very uh, uh, every year uh, three to four month uh, heavy rains so most of industry is not situated in a uh, kokan region so this is the one is issue the climate issue then uh, human re resources and wages the uh, human resources means availability of uh, skilled and unskilled uh, labors okay for example uh, city location suburban location and rural location okay so cost of the labor is uh, different a city location is high then medial uh, suburban location and urban location very less so our plant in which category so on the basis of our product uh, our production uh, process our which uh, technology we have apply okay then uh, regulatory laws and taxes okay 
regulatory laws and taxes for our products uh, so these are again depend upon the uh, conditions then uh, community services community services means uh, availability of uh, facility for uh, peoples in school colleges road transportation rail transportation then uh, uh, air transportation so community services malls okay so these are the uh, required facility uh, available uh, then uh, water and waste treatment uh, as per our uh, calculation required water and a uh, volume of uh, waste material okay so water and uh, waste water treatment okay so uh, any hazardous material in our uh, waste treatment so our waste waste material in which uh, uh, type uh, waste uh, liquid type or solid type then uh, ecology and pollution okay uh, the pollution uh, from uh, our plant okay then uh, capital availability of the uh, uh, plant then site characteristics why select such uh, such location uh, which positive point uh, uh, for this location which negative point for this location and then another one is the issue is the security security or plan okay so these are the uh, some uh, point related to the uh, factors involved in the plant location study then uh, reason study suppose the uh, location suppose you have decided the uh, uh, your plant located uh, uh, newly plant uh, developed in pune so in pune uh, different regions okay so di uh, different mids areas to so which uh, region uh, is most uh, suitable for our plant so market point of view raw material and uh, supply point of view so uh, if the raw material uh, is bulky or uh, uh, low in cost or uh, if it is uh, greatly reduced in bulk okay so the location uh, uh, near new material sources is uh, important then uh, uh, transportation facilities transportation facilities okay uh, raw material and supplies sorry uh, transportation facility so uh, which are uh, facility required for uh, transportation so bulk transportation as well as raw material transportation as well as final product transportation so uh, road transportation is suitable or uh, rail transportation is suitable or air transportation is suitable or any other uh, uh, refrigerated vehicles required for transportation of the final product then uh, uh, manpower man supply again uh, manpower supply suppose in uh, which area suppose pune uh, is a metropolitan city and uh, easily available uh, uh, skilled uh, manpower but our uh, location uh, outside the pune that time easily availability of the unskilled labor but not availability of uh, uh, skilled labor okay so and then uh, infrastructure so this factor refers to the availability and uh, reliability of power water fuel and uh, uh, communication facility in addition to uh, transportation facilities then uh, legislation and uh, taxation so financial and other incentives for uh, new industries in a uh, uh, backward area or no industry district centers so exemption uh, from certain state and local taxes okay or uh, some incentives by government suppose uh, we have uh, developed new plant in a uh, uh, backward uh, areas or uh, non developed areas so uh, selection of uh, region okay or territory then uh, site selection again site selection purpose uh, community facility 
community attitude okay suppose uh, select the site so another uh, some important factor related uh, to um, uh, site selections is the community facilities so community facility means uh, uh, then uh, in a same uh, location the medical services then uh, then fire station then uh, some police station so education facilities okay so these are the another uh, important factors then uh, good street then uh, good communication and transportation facilities then uh, waste disposal so as per our uh, product point of view uh, our uh, waste in which uh, category solid liquid or uh, gaseous type and uh, which techniques uh, we have applied for treatment uh, of uh, the waste material okay then uh, pollution then site size so uh, plot of uh, land must be um, large enough to the hold propose of uh, plan and uh, some other facilities uh, uh, parking facility access facility and provides room for uh, future expansions then uh, uh, topography means the uh, tropical means uh, soil structures so a drainage facility must be suitable uh, if considerable land Im improvement is required then uh, low price of the land uh, might turn out be too expensive so this is a topography point then again transportation facility and supporting industries and services uh, supporting industry and services means so sir, suppose for example packaging material so same areas uh, uh, availability of packaging materials okay so automatically uh, our product cost is reduced means uh, packaging material other some facilities uh, available in same uh, site then uh, land cost uh, required uh, land cost uh, nowadays uh, very high uh, cost of the lands available in everywhere every place so cost of land uh, important factor so then uh, techniques uh, used uh, in a location uh, decision uh, discussion so equal weight method variable weight method and a uh, weight come rating method uh, and a uh, comparative weight rating method okay these are four methods uh, equal weight methods so suppose uh, factors so f1 f2 f3 f4 factors uh, uh, factors means uh, these are same uh, transportation then manpower supply infrastructure raw material availability and s1 s2 s3 s4 is the site means uh, you have select the four site and every site uh, compare with these factors factors means availability of raw materials infrastructure manpower any other factors and uh, uh, give the mark out of 10 so for example, F1 is the raw material and site 2. So in site 2, raw material is easily available. So that's why give the nine numbers. So on the basis of uh, factors and site. So calculate this point. Okay. This is the equal weight uh, method. Then variable weight method. Method in a variable weight method the maximum point allotted to uh, factors uh, because uh, our product our pro, uh, manufacturing process totally or maximum depend upon the raw material so that's why uh, highest mark allocated allocated to uh, raw material so 400 the maximum points then s1 s2 s3 and s4 Uh, S1, S2, S3, and S4. So this is the site and available raw material uh, S1 uh, site, S2, S3, and S4 site. So on the basis of availability of raw material on site, so you can uh, uh, give the mark so out of 400, so 300, 350, 200, and 100. 
and then calculate all the factors and all the sides this is the variable weight method then weight converting methods so factor uh, rating points so these are the factor and factor rating points so maximum point f1 f2 f3 and f4 and then calculate it so 5 into site 1 plus uh, 4 into 4 this is uh, s2 so these are the calculations for uh, selection of sites so in your mind uh, more than two or three sites for uh, preparation of the product and then uh, compositive major method so transportation cost labor cost uh, factor one factor two okay and raw material supply maintenance facility and community attitude so these are the another point so factors and potential sites in these points okay then uh, food plant size raw material availability market demand degree and nature of the market competitions and economic consideration so on the basis of size of the plant okay then uh, food plant utility so processed water so processed water is required for uh, washing the uh, raw material signed for various uh, cooling operations uh, in fruit and vegetable processing plants uh, required more water comparatively other plant so also more water required for the uh, slaughtering uh, uh, unit so water may be used for uh, a different way uh, the raw materials uh, from receiving to processing areas so water usually in uh, boilers may require in uh, different uh, treatment okay so as an average uh, for uh, fruit and vegetable processing industries more than uh, uh, 10 metric uh, 10 meter cube per ton of raw materials then uh, second is the uh, required steam so on the basis of our uh, technology our process uh, means uh, uh, required steam or steam for which purpose uh, heat the product uh, uh, okay in uh, our process uh, pasteurization process sterilization process or uh, any other heating processes so required steam so steam generation purpose required the water and required steam for processing of uh, product so uh, two principal types of uh, steam boilers are used to in the food processing industry so fire tube boiler and water tube boiler okay so as per our requirement uh, we can uh, select uh, uh, any one type or one category so basically on the uh, uh, basis of uh, required pressure so suppose a uh, fire tube boilers operate at relatively low pressure so this pressure is a uh, 1 to 25 bar and suppose uh, uh, the water tube boiler that time higher pressure so more than 100 bar pressure uh, generated in a water tube boiler then uh, electricity so Electric, electrical power in food processing plant is uh, needed for uh, running the motors of the different processes the control panel then uh, different uh, service equipment for industrial heating and uh, for illumination okay so uh, a requirement of uh, uh, single phase or three phase uh, alternating current is uh, used in a food processing plant and uh, as per our requirement okay then a uh, plant effluent so treatment of food waste materials so simple screening out the suspended solids then uh, filtration techniques then uh, sedimentation tank then uh, aeration okay uh, spray irrigation so this is the procedure for uh, wastewater treatment and uh, liquid waste. Okay. 
so design parameter in you know, designing of food plant layout again uh, monthly demand so areas administrative areas receiving areas production areas packaging and storage area distribution channel utility and waste management area so all these operations involved in uh, uh, for example suppose uh, receiving areas so raw material receiving section uh, raw material quality checking section, uh, documentation record keeping section, and uh, uh, storage section. So, on the basis of uh, quantity of raw material, okay, quantity of raw material, the availability of raw material every day or per day. Suppose uh, 50 ton or 100 ton per day, that time uh, more area required for uh, storage of raw material and receiving of. Uh, raw materials and uh, prepare the record for uh, uh, future uh, documentation and record keeping and uh, storage section. So, uh, for example, suppose uh, fruit processing. So, fruit in in which condition uh, receive in which condition and ripe condition or ripe condition. Uh, so, uh, ripening chamber required for uh, uh, fruit. Uh, ripening purpose so uh, these uh, conditions uh, required for uh, receiving areas then uh, production area so process flow uh, normally process flow means suppose raw material then uh, washing then uh, uh, suppose for example so fruit vegetable uh, raw material uh, receiving then uh, washing uh, uh, cutting uh, washing then uh, cutting, blanching, then processing, then uh, packaging, and then storing. This is the process flow. So we know the our product process flow, which uh, operations involve in our product, then work flow, then equipment uh, capacities. Equipment capacity means our line, our uh, capacity is 5 ton per hour or 10 ton per hour. Okay. Then uh, quality assurance, GMP and GHP uh, point of view, any precautions, okay. Then uh, batches of production per day, our uh, production, batch-wide production or continuous production, okay. So after every 24 hour or every 12 hour or every 6 hour, uh, one break for the washing equipments, okay. So all things. Uh, involved in designing then quality control so how many parameter we have checked in quality uh, uh, 10 parameter or 15 parameter okay so this is the related to the production area then packaging and storage area uh, primary packaging secondary packaging warehouse with first in uh, or first out okay so uh, the packaging a required uh, area for uh, storage of uh, prepared product uh, final packaging or after uh, preliminary packaging then distribution channel so supply chain layout or distribution mode and facilities okay so these are the all points uh, involving designing of food plant layout Okay, then determine uh, plant layouts. So type of product on the basis of size, shape, and quality. And type of process means technology base and volume of production. So increases or decreases of volume. So importance of plant layout. So so plant layout is basically long term process. So it facilitates the production process, minimize material handling and time and cost uh, and all allows the uh, flexibility of operations okay so these are the some importance of uh, plant layout okay then uh, these are the some objectives of plant layouts so proper and uh, efficient utilization of valuable power space means maximum maximum space uh, utilize then uh, to ensure that work uh, proceeds from one point to another point without any delay 
means uh, after ripening of fruits and vegetable immediately transport to processing area suppose a delay so uh, that time uh, immediately start the uh, over ripening process and uh, uh, this is the direct effect on the quality of the product then uh, provide in a production capacity so availability of raw material and production capacity the balance everything reduce uh, material handling cost uh, means uh, uh, raw material storage room and processing room is uh, very near because uh, less manpower required for transport of raw material from raw material storage room to processing areas then reduce hazards to uh, personal so uh, minimum handling so automatically reduce the hazardness then uh, utilize uh, labor efficiently so suppose uh, uh, suppose any uh, changes or poor uh, plant layout uh, due to the poor plant layout increase the manpower suppose one uh, extra man uh, or extra person required for uh, uh, transportation of raw material from receiving area to processing area so uh, so this is the more than 20 or 25 year plan so one person's uh, uh, salary for 20 to 25 years so this is the huge amount so uh, that's why the prepare or maintain or design uh, appropriate plan so reduce accidents then provides easy of uh, supervision and controls so supervision and control purpose uh, and design the uh, plan so easily supervision then uh, provide employee safety and uh, health okay. so then uh, allow high machine or equipment utilization improve productivity to minimize cost of production better inter department relationship inter department relation means uh, uh, processing area uh, raw material area then packaging section then uh, uh, boiler section or plant treatment section so on this section uh, connect with each other then a uh, factor influencing plant uh, the uh, factor factory building so structure of factory factory building so air condition dust control humidity control must be kept in mind at the time of uh, designing then uh, nature of product so product layout is suitable for uniform products warehouse process layout is more appropriate for custom made products so, so nature of product so then uh, production process uh, type of machinery so type of machinery depend upon the uh, product category repairs and maintenance so maintenance point of view maintenance departments okay so machineries on the basis of which type of machinery we have used uh, for production purpose then uh, human needs so uh, locker room washroom uh, lockers drinking water toilet and other employee facilities required inside the uh, uh, factory or nearby the uh, working area then plant environments so then again heat light noise ventilation and other aspects uh, should be uh, to be considered uh, okay then uh, management policies uh, regarding size quality employee facility and delivery schedule should be considered while deciding plant layout so so dynamic of uh, plant layers so increases in the output of the existing product introduction of new product and diversification uh, technology advancement in machinery material process product design fuels so new techniques availability and uh, uh, adoption and deficiency in the layout noticed by the layout engineers in the beginning okay so uh, any points related to the designing these are the uh, some principles 
of plant layouts uh, so material and labor uh, uh, minimum movement so material and uh, labor should be moved over minimum distance then principle of flow then uh, uh, principle of space means required space then safety uh, there should be consideration of for safety and convenience for workers then a uh, feasibility so layout should be designed in the manner that production uh, facility can easily be arranged uh, uh, when it become necessary in future on account of expansion and technological uh, advancement okay then a uh, principle of interdependence so they should be located in close proximity in each other connect with uh, each other then overall in integration so all the plant facility services should be fully integrated uh, into single operating unit so this is the one way to the atomization of the plant and minimum investment so layout should be yielding the saving in fixed capital investment through optimum utilization of available facilities okay so these are the uh, different flow pattern so these are the six uh, flow pattern i type l type u type s type and uh, o type so these are the uh, five uh, uh, flow pattern so first is the separate receiving and separate shipping area second uh, straight line flow chart uh, is to be accumulated so maximum uh, space accumulation then this is the third is the very popular combination of uh, receiving and dispatch in the uh, same way and uh, yes type so so this is the zigzag type means some multi operational processes so dairy industry purpose uh, this is the good way when the production line is uh, long and zigzag on the production floor and last is the uh, termine the flow near where it is organized so which flow pattern uh, process flow pattern is a suitable for our uh, product okay then uh, types of uh, layouts so these are the four layouts product or line layout process or functional layout the fixed position or location layout and combined out group layout so first is the product or uh, line layout so this type of layout is uh, developed for product focus system so in this type of uh, layout only one product or one type of product is produced in uh, same area okay so the worker sentences are organized in the sequence of appearance so the raw material center at uh, one end and uh, uh, one end of the line and uh, goes to the operation and then uh, dispatch or uh, final products uh, this is the other end so these are the some advantages of these products so low cost of material handling then smooth and uh, operations continuous flow of work lesser investment uh, lesser investment in the uh, maintenance and work in progress optimum use of uh, floor space then a uh, shorter processing time or uh, quicker output okay so these are the advantages of this product and these are some in advantages so initial capital investment is special purpose machines the heavy overhead charges breakdown of one machine will hamper the whole production process okay so in this uh, pro processing line no alternative that's why this is the uh, production line hamper after the breakdown okay then uh, process or functional layout so this type of layout is developed for process focus system so totally uh, this type of uh, layout depend upon the uh, technology or which process we have applied for uh, processing of product okay so equipment and operation are uh, grouped together in this process means all equipment 
कनेक्टेड विथ इच अदर ओके सो द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन डिपार्टमेंट शुड बी शॉर्ट एज पॉसिबल और अवॉइडिंग लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस मूवमेंट ऑफ मटेरियल्स सो द डिपार्टमेंट शुड बी इन सिक्वेंस ऑफ ऑपरेशन द अरेजमेंट शुड बी कन्वीनियंट फॉर इंस्पेक्शन एंड सुपरविजन सो ऑल ऑपरेशन ऑल मशीनरीज ऑल इक्विपमेंट कनेक्टेड विच इच अदर विद आर द वेरी वेट सुटेबल फॉर सुपरविजन देन दीज आर द सम एडवांटेजेस ऑफ प्रोसेस और फंक्शनल ले आउट्स ओके देन दिस इज द डिसएडवांटेजेस मटेरियल हैंडलिंग कॉस्ट आर हाई ड्यू टू द डायरेक्ट रिकेन मोर स्किल लेबर इज रिक्वायर्ड रिजल्टिंग द हायर कॉस्ट दिस मींस द दिस प्रोसेस ले आउट टोटली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑपरेशनल मींस इक्विपमेंट वेस्ट ओके वर्किंग प्रोग्रेस इन्वेंटरी इज हाई नीडिंग ग्रेटर स्टोरेज स्पेस ओके then a more frequent inspection is needed which result in costly supervision okay so uh, this is the one example of a process layouts uh, example of uh, processing of mangoes and all operations the fruit unloading okay suppose uh, unripe fruit that time first the ripe and then ripe fruit uh, transport to uh, processing areas unloading then uh, grading then uh, storage bins washer grading sizer juice extractor those are the uh, operations unit operation in all in processing then uh, uh, for the pre uh, preparation of juice then uh, finisher centrifuge then pasteurization evaporator concentrated then frozen storage tank means concentrated pulp this is a uh, one way another way pulp juice then defect the removal means uh, decanter use for separation of black and brown particles then finisher then pasteurizer again uh, finisher then closer drum storage pulp okay then i emulsion the concentrated polisher then uh, dryson uh, storage and closer drum storage and peel oil so these are the all uh, different processes in industries okay so as per industry point of view how many product uh, uh, industry prepared by industry okay so this is the one example uh, which type of operations exactly involve in processing so then again a uh, fixed layout so in a fixed layout uh, this is a suitable uh, for producing single large the high cost component of product so uh, there is product is the statics and uh, labor tools are requirements come to the work site in this uh, uh, in in this uh, layout the fixed position of the equipment fixed uh, position of the machinery or any other uh, areas so as an example is the sugar industry once the installation then not easily uh, change the position of uh, such equipments okay the project site supplier human source material energy these are the some okay then uh, advantage of fixed row position so these are this is the advantages of uh, fixed positions okay fixed position layouts then disadvantages there is one uh, uh, disadvantage of such type of very large space is required for uh, storage of material and equipment near the product okay in this uh, process the once the fix the instrument or fix the area of uh, uh, that time not easily change and suppose change that line directly affect the cost of the product okay then a combined group layout so combined uh, group layout certain manufacturing units may be required all three processes mainly investment process 
continuous process and uh, representative process combined process meant to multiple operation in same industry so uh, this is mango processing again it means multiple operation in same industry mango processing or uh, dairy industry so this is a multi multi uh, functional or multi processes units okay and uh, the use of computerized facility designed the various techniques uh, uh, have been developed and used in layout engineering such as automated layout design program then computerized relation layout planning and computerized related allocation so facilities techniques computerized layout planning so to use these uh, all computer based software or computer based uh, techniques for designing of plant layout then a uh, uh, plant layout factors okay then uh, material factors means uh, variety quantity operation sequencing then manpowers required manpower machineries uh, small scale machinery large uh, size machinery small size machinery then uh, movement factors movement factors means means inter our inter departmental transportations so uh, raw materials or products okay so distance between two department in processing area and storage the distance then uh, uh, storage uh, uh, storage of final product so uh, eight days storage uh, two days storage then uh, 15 or one month storage then uh, services so employee related facility and building factors and changes factor including exhibit and expansion of the plant layout any uh, suitable space uh, required for in future expansion of plant okay then uh, material of construction of food equipment so stainless steel aluminium nickel and molnail then uh, plastic material okay so stainless steel uh, exhibits some of the most suitable characteristic of the construction of uh, material so AISI 304 means American Iron Steel Institute uh, numbering uh, 304 and 302 and 316 okay so which type of material uh, mostly suitable for our plant so corrosion free material and different combinations so so these uh, materials grade on the basis of how many percent of carbon present in the material then aluminium uh, so aluminium has the high thermal conductivity so aluminium is used to construct the some part of the food process equipment so it is not as a corrosion resistance as a uh, stainless steel and it is to resist uh, to abbreviation from cleaning and sanitizing product and uh, foodstuff materials okay then uh, nickel and monel so pure nickel and monel uh, then alloy of nickel alloy of monel and only monel so on the basis of our requirements our product category and uh, which uh, chemical composition or which component present in product then uh, plastic materials so plastic material are used uh, most of the outside the factory means so post harvest purpose the harvesting and transportation of agricultural raw materials purpose use the plastic material means polyethylene then uh, polyester epoxy resin high density polyethylene type material okay so thank you everyone okay thank you sir uh, so actually there is no question in chat box if anybody has any query they can ask good afternoon sir Good afternoon. From Shivars. Yes. Sir, uh, which uh, which government body or government rule or government acts work on uh, measurements of plant designing layouts? For example, in that such a raw material storage room is uh, uh, about 10 by 10 in uh, hmm. centimeter, uh, uh, in meters. It's uh, any uh, law or regulation or act you work on uh, these standards? Uh, 
so no, no no depend upon the which type of products so this uh, uh, processing area uh, change product to product category for example dairy purpose or mango processing or biscuit manufacturing plant so required area is different for all these uh, three processes but uh, exactly uh, no uh, mandatory for specific area for uh, specific process but uh, operation is smoothly running this is a one uh, only one requirement so this process total uh, this uh, area totally depend upon the uh, product category and product type and the again capacity of the uh, factory or uh, company in 5 ton per hour 10 ton per hour or 15 ton per hour okay okay sir thank you thank you so much sir any other questions any other questions from participant side okay thank you Is there any question from participant? Because uh, sir has given so uh, good lecture on this, uh, this topic particularly, because this is somewhat difficult, uh, different topic, and he has gone through whole, uh, whole actually through all the points of this four plant design layout, and uh, so and that is one of the important part of any food processing industry. So how we can see what what are the basic engineering or what is the basically different uh, layouts which need to be considered. And uh, sir, uh, sir had told us all the points, and I have seen all the, the slides, and uh, he, uh, he has uh, explained very nicely. And I hope all of you have got this. And still, if you have any question, you can uh, ask now. Sir is available with us. Yeah. Okay, I think sir, uh, everyone has got all the information, and uh, because you were all the slides were in details. So there is no question as such in their mind. So okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> so in that way, okay, sir. I think uh, so. It is very good. Okay, sir, shall I? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable information in the areas of food plant design and layout. Actually, the topic is very vast, and you have covered it very nicely within a, a short period of time. And uh, you have touched all the aspects of uh, food plant design and layout. It is not easy to cover this topic. We know that you have explained it very thoroughly, uh, right from the introduction part uh, till the objectives and how to calculate different factors. Again, it. Uh, uh, demands like engineering mind i think so so it is not that easy and you have covered it very easily and uh, thank you so much sir for your valuable time and valuable information regarding this thank, thank you very much dr motes accepting for accepting our invitation and delivering such a nice lecture uh, with the so less time and it was uh, very knowledgeable and in detail also and anyone can go through this one because recording will be also available and he can record whole what is put plant there and layout as such. It is like an NPT lecture too. So okay. I'm very much thankful to you for uh, such a nice presentation from the on the behalf of Department of Technology as such. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, so participants, I uh, think uh, everything is there. One more time, I will just post this link to to give your feedback if you are, uh, give your attendance if you are wishing that one. And tomorrow morning we will meet in the afternoon. We'll have the uh, feedback section. And then there will be a validation section. And then after the validation section, we will give the questions because you need to have the sufficient marks to qualify for the certificate. Okay. And I will already post it how much it is required. And you know that one. So we will meet you tomorrow by 10 a.m. So good night as such. Thank you, sir. Okay. So okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we'll stop here.